Hello everyone, Omar here and welcome back to my channel. I'd like to let you know that Evoto AI released its latest version, 3.6.0-269, and in this video, I will demonstrate some of the new features that they have added. Click the link in the video description to try Evoto AI and get 30 free credits. So without further ado, let's get started. Evoto AI now supports importing Lightroom catalog files or .lrcat files. This eliminates the cumbersome import and export process. Let me show you how it works. So you go to the folder where your Lightroom catalog is located and simply drag and drop them to Evoto to create a new project. Then from here you can select which folders you want to import. It shows the total number of images per folder and then you can fine tune the selection by using these filters right here, such as format, editing status, rating, color and flag. You can change the project name right here and also import the original image. Down at the bottom it shows the total number of images that you have selected. And once we're happy with the selection, just click Import. And we've successfully imported the Lightroom catalog into Evoto AI. This is very useful for those people who start their editing workflow in Lightroom, and then finish it off in Evoto. Evoto AI now supports black and white color profile. So if you like converting your images to monochrome or black and white, then this feature is for you. Okay, let's check this feature out. So we have our image right here. Then we go to the color adjustment section. And when we click profile, there is now the black and white option. This feature is pretty much straightforward. Submasks for all persons through local color adjustment is now available. You now have the ability to accurately select the person in a group photo and locally adjust its exposure and color, as well as target specific parts of that person. And to demonstrate, go to the Color Adjustments panel, click on Local right here, make sure Person is selected, and then choose which person you want to isolate and edit individually. Then you have the option to mask the entire person, just the skin, face, body, eyebrows, etc. I'll select Person 3 and then play around with the basic adjustments. I can adjust the exposure of Person 3, like so. I can also increase or decrease shadows, as well as the color temperature and tint. Now let's select person 2 and then select just her clothes. Let's see if we can change its color. So I'll move the temp and tint slider. Adjust the exposure, contrast and shadow. And then under HSL, I'll adjust the green hue. And that's it. We were able to target person 2's clothes and change its color. Evoto AI has added a new slider for creating the perfect lips by removing lip wrinkles and flakes. To access it, go to the Blemish Removal section and scroll all the way down to the Lip Wrinkles and Flakes slider. Let's set it all the way to 100. Let's zoom in. Before, after, before, after. Looks pretty good in my opinion. Evoto AI now has hair blackening. The removal of white hair is added into the hair adjustment section. So we go to the hair section right here and then scroll down to white hair blackening function. Let's set it all the way to 100 and see the effect. Let's zoom in. Okay, it's way too much and doesn't look realistic, so let's bring it down to about 70. Okay, now that's much better. Evoto AI now has smile generation. You are now able to make a person smile regardless of how small or big you want it to be, showing the teeth or not. We go here to the facial expression section, and then we can apply a gentle smile if we want. Now let's try the smile generation. So this is at level 1. This is at level 2. This is at level 3. This is at level 4. And this is at level 5. What do you think? Does it look natural and realistic? Now I would suggest you either add a gentle smile or use smile generation, but do not combine them both as it would look cartoonish. Evoto AI now has mouth tilt adjustment. You can now correct a crooked mouth. You can find this function under facial reshape. Look for the tilt slider, then adjust according to your preference. In my opinion, I would not use this feature often. Just be careful in using this function. 
And here are the rest of the updates and optimization added to Evoto AI as of June 17, 2024. We don't need to show them as these are just enhancements and not really additional features. Feel free to pause the video and read them. And there you have it. Those are the latest features added to Evoto AI as of June 17, 2024. It really has come a long way since its release. A lot of quality of life improvements have been added and Evoto is very keen at listening and accepting feedback from its customers. Evoto AI is remarkable and truly a game changer and it is making its way by storm at a very fast rate. Use the link in the video description to download Evoto AI and get 30 free credits. That's it for today's video. Stay tuned for more Evoto AI tips and tricks. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this, and click the bell icon to turn on notifications. I'll see you on my next video. Thank you for watching.